Mama Stacy's up in the house and I'm going to take care of you guys. <laughs> that's like the joy of what I do. Um, so yeah, I was so excited. I did hit push record because just for fun. Um, cause I don't know. Hi Devin. You're like in the dark. Spooky. Yeah. All I can see is your. I'm in the car. Shh, don't tell my police officer husband. I'm zooming and driving. Shh. Oh, dude, dude. You get <laughs> I love it, girlfriend. What's up? Okay, so Devin's muted again. I'm, I hit recording. I'm going to push play since we only have 40 minutes. Um, it's already step seven. Or not play. You know what I mean. I'm going to drop off two of my kids at my in-laws right now. So I'm going to be listening, and then I'll be available shortly. Love it. Love it. Okay, okay. awesome. I'm here, but I'm muted. Thank you. Yay. I just was telling... Sarah, I was just telling you that that's what you can do. You know what I mean? That's perfect. Yeah. You can totally do that. Okay. So I'm going to start us off and just say hello, Team Shine. Thank you guys for um, all of you that are here and then all of you guys that will watch this recording because I'll post it in the coach group after the call is done. Um, so a couple quick announcements before I get into our vision for 2017, your vision. Um, I wanted to say that first and foremost I'm gonna start this year just because it's fun you guys have you guys can say this to your challengers and say this to yourself anything that's measured can be improved upon I can't remember who said that but it's a quote that always sticks in my mind because I'm like the fact that we do photos the fact that we do measurements and weigh-ins um, we can always improve upon those things because we, we're tracking them we're measuring them um, mm -hmm. even if you have a goal like let's do weekly date nights you can track them and measure them and be like, how many did we do this month? Shoot, we only did one. Let's try to do two next month. You know, those types of things. So that being said, we have 250 coaches on our, in our downline right now. That means all the coaches you guys have added, all the coaches that I've personally added. So I, my goal for this year, you guys, Matt and I were talking about it. And the goal essentially for any coach once you're Emerald is just to make yourself Emerald again. It's to sign two more coaches the next month. That is ideal. So I would love to see us at, he, Matt and I were saying 350 is a great goal for this year because then I would be adding 100 more coaches. I think we could probably go higher than that. So, I mean, with all of you guys working, so our goal by year's end is to be at, I'm going to say 375. I think that's a good number. So that means I need to get my beauty recruiting and get and you guys need to get some new coaches on our team and be sharing the love of how great this business is okay second announcement team cup um you guys saw me go live in the group earlier about it if you did not go back and watch that in the coach group um i think it's a fantastic way obviously to get to know each other and to just glean from each other and learn um and obviously if we win the, t the tier one prize, we get the Bluetooth speaker, which is super cool. We all need a Bluetooth speaker in our house, or you can get a technology sweatshirt or the cooler bag. I don't know why they made a uh, tier two prize, the cooler bag, because I don't really care about that one. <laughs> but that's just me. Um, so the free group, you guys, that Tabitha, she's not on, she was teaching a call until seven o'clock, her t eight o'clock her time. So she's going to try to jump on, but I'm just going to give a shout out to Tabitha and Sharice because they are leading our um, free five-day group this month. It's a very good practice. And I can tell you probably 50% of my challengers from last year had done some sort of a free five-day group with me um, in months prior because I keep them on special lists and then I'll move them over. And I'm like, oh, dude, no wonder she joined me. She did a free group with me like five months ago. And so adding that free value and serving people for free is such a great way to go. So that group starts on Monday. It runs for five days. Um, Sharice put together a meal plan. Tabitha did a post about it in the coach group. I know Tabitha's going to be going and doing videos in the group every day or day. So shout out to the Team Armor coaches who are inviting us, letting us use their expertise and their knowledge to bless our customers and our clients. So that's super exciting. Um, if you haven't posted about that on your social media, I'm offering a free Sh Shakeology packet um, to my new clients that are joining me that week. I'm just going to mail it out to them. Um, so a great way, Sarah, I know we're going to be talking about getting you to Emerald. And for those of you that have your spouses on one of your legs, you can order packets through your spouse account and then you can, I always, my 
my best practice with this is I give one free packet away. I do not call it a sample because it's an actual meal and I want people to see the value in it. Um, and then if they want a week, I always offer a week supply if I have enough packets and they can just pay your PayPal. They can mail you a check, um, whatever that, if you have a square at home that you use, you can get payment from them and just send it out. I mean, if you want to do free shipping, do free shipping. If you want to charge them for shipping, do that. It's your business. You get to make those decisions. So um, I'm going to give one free packet to my new people that are doing that group with me because any little touch helps. If they drink one day of Shakeology and they read the back of the packet and see all the cool ingredients, that's all it took for me. I just had to see what was in it. And I was like, oh, this is like the best thing on the market. I want this in my body. I don't really care how much it is. How do I get it? And they could very well be the same way. So um, I recommend that. And then uh, I'm going to read a message that Tabitha sent me. You guys know we have our personal development group on Mondays. And um, there was for the chapter four that we were reading last week. And I totally watched the replay. I didn't read all my homework. I got it done today, but I messed up. So Tabitha said this to me because, you know, our, our team is Team Shine. And there is power in names and there is power in the meanings of names. And um, this is what she sent to me in a private message before the call last night. I thought it was so sweet because um, it's just, you get to encourage each other all the time. And I think that's the beauty of our team, right? So she said, you are a child of God. You are playing, your playing small doesn't serve the world. There's nothing enlightening about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. And the joy of children and how they just want to say what they want to say and live how they want to live and be how they want to be. I think we should all be that way. And that's why I love our team name, Team Shine, because there's no reason we need to shrink to conform to this world. Um, we can just shine and be the way God created us to be. And I think that's such a beautiful thing. So thanks, Tab, for sending me that message because it totally is my vision for all of us. Um, so... Does anyone have any, like, I want you to be thinking too, at the end of the call, I'll kind of do like a quick little um, question of, I would love to hear your vision for your business this year, whether it's just one sentence, one word, or um, the number of people that you want to help that you've thought about, something like that. So be thinking about what your, or just like a feeling that you want to feel at the end of 2017. You know, those emotions are so important to us women. Um, and so even if it's just an emotion that you want to feel at the end of this year, I'd love to hear that. So, okay. So I'm going to just get right into vision boards and our vision for the year. And mine personally, I've never, when I listen to leaders in the business who have been doing it for a long time, and um, they're always like, you have to have a vision for your team. And if you don't have a vision, you're not going to essentially move the hearts of people on your team. And so that really has struck a chord with me lately because I want you guys all to know like where I'm going, what I'm doing, what I see for us so that you can jump on board this some, something that's essentially bigger than us, right? Like what do you say, Sarah? Like you kind of want to be a part of something that's bigger than you because it not only feels good to the soul, but it, um, it gives you that extra push and drive that, you know, we can easily get lost in our daily lives. We could literally go by the next 10 years doing laundry and doing dishes, right? Like I can so easily get lost in my day-to-day -day busyness, but there's a part of us that wants to accomplish more, feel better, push ourselves in a way that's like a beautiful mess, you know, cause a lot of the time it's going to feel like we don't know what the crap we're doing, but we're knowing that we're going somewhere you know, and so after all this time, I still feel the same exact way as every new coach. And that's what's so fun about it is that we kind of all do the same stuff. You know what I mean? You just have to, sh you have to be the person that shows up every day. What's up, Laura? I see you, girl. Okay. So, um, there is a quote by Steve Harvey, which he's hilarious. And it says, what you have in my, in your mind, you can hold in your hand. And so, um, I'm going to manage. Hey. Hey. Okay. I'm going to mute you just. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so late. No, you're totally fine. Um, you can mute yourself if you want to, unless, you know, and then at the end we can do a and a but it sounds like you're in a tight room, so I think you're good. I just heard, okay. some, I heard some moving water. I didn't know. Devin's probably unmuted and going to the bathroom. I'm just joking, Devin. I'm just joking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
So <clears throat> what you have in your mind, you can hold in your hand. Better yet, what you write down on paper and what you um, visualize your goals and like actually put your goals on paper, I really feel like we can hold in our hands. So I want to just talk about vision boards and you can kind of see mine behind me and I'll show you a little bit more about it. I would love for you guys to make one this year because I can make one. And to be honest with you, I am definitely like weirded out. I was weirded out by them, but I still kind of am because I'm like, yeah, that's like that woo hooey, like whatever kind of like, you know, the secret movie that you can watch where you're like, <laughs> everything will come to you. The law of attraction is, you know, <laughs> you're going to have this life, everything you want because you've envisioned it. Okay. Well, that sounds fantastic, but let's really be real about it, you know? And yeah. so I, but I do believe after listening to a lot of my favorite people who have done a lot of their, like really seen a lot of their goals out and really are living lives that um, they can be proud of and that is very meaningful to them. Like, I think there's something behind this, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I think we should explore. Yeah. So it's really, to me, like in my mind, I'm like, it's the power of intention. You know what I mean? Like, it's the power. We could do a lot of stuff with our time. But what are we going to be intentional about? What are our priorities? So um, you can kind of think of it as like an elevation of understanding. You know what I mean? Like, understanding what you want and understanding what can come to you. Um, so, you know, I want to ask you guys, like, when was the last time you stopped and actually thought about what you truly want? Um, I know this is a great time of year to do that. And I have to say that I never, ever, I don't have a huge imagination. <laughs> I'm kind of black and white. I'm like, just give me the task and I'll do it. Um, I don't dream big. Um, my husband is a total daydreamer and he literally dreams so big that I'm like, you're crazy, you're <laughs> crazy, yo, that ain't never going to happen. But there's something so beautiful about daydreaming and visualizing and like letting your imagination get away with you. And we actually talked about it in our personal development group last night. So as you guys read that chapter in your best year ever, and I think Laura, you're in there. If you're not, I can add you in there. Okay. Okay. It, oh, the chapter four was so good. It was so good. And uh, it totally lines up with this call tonight. So what I love about this company is Keen Beachbody lets us dream because we have the power to control how many people we help in a year. And, you know, we have the power to stay this business out long enough to actually make such a great residual income or just main income. There's so many wives that have retired their husbands and, you know, really taken this all on and created a six figure income. It's not, it, there's no secrets. It's just a matter of how much you want, how much work you want to put in and how long you want to mm -hmm. stay in the game. Truly. So this business does let us dream. So pause and think about, you know, it doesn't have to be like, Oh, I want to be on a yacht with Jay-Z or I want all these diamonds on my fingers. Like, it's not about that. It's like, what do you really want your life to feel like and look like? So gaining clarity is really awesome. And I think that this can be taken in baby steps um, because I've been kind of taking it over the past couple years and always mulling these things over, but you can really sit and like paint the picture and let your imagination go wild and you know, what would you have if there was no um, filters or lack of resources um, or lack of skill? You know what I mean? Like really like dream big because I think we can always, um, I think when we lean on the side of, of curiosity rather than fear, mm -hmm. that can take some really cool places. Um, so vision boards can inspire action. And you can ask yourself, what should I say yes to? What are some things that can push me out of my comfort zone that I could say yes to that would help me get closer to being the person that I want to be? So, um, you know, you could even go as far as like driving past your dream house and literally writing down the address. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it happens this year. I think we should always think smaller term goals, shorter term goals, because sometimes the big goals can seem daunting, mm -hmm. but who cares? You know, like be sold out to what you, what type of house you want to live in, what neighborhood you want to live in. Um, so a couple quick little, I didn't make any slides for this, but vision boards are going to give you clarity. They're going to help you visualize and focus. Um, they are going to open your mind so that you say, I can, and be open to receiving. Because I think so often we get closed off to receiving of the blessings that 
very well can come our way and can come our way. You know, like I really believe that we are meant to live life to the fullest, whatever that looks like um, for each of us. And I think, I think we just, so like for me, um, you can kind of think, okay, step one, what do I want? And you guys can think about this as you're doing it before bed. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to mute you, Laura, real quick here. Okay. And you can unmute when you're ready. Um, okay. So step one, what do I want? Step two, what do I want in 2017? How does it feel? What am I called to do? I should have made a slide for this. So what do I want? What do I want in 2017? How does it feel? And what am I called to do? What do I feel like my purpose is in this life? We all have gifts and we all have gift zones pretty much that we can dominate in. You know what I mean? Like no one can quite do it like us because God made us that special in that area. And I think recognizing that and, and really believing that, like for me, I still sometimes I'm like, I still don't know what my gift is, but I do know that I really love helping women feel beautiful and confident and connecting women. Um, like in a group setting, I'm, I'm trying to get better at that with the leadership side of it. And I, I just want women to feel confident enough to be able to run with what they want to run with. Um, and just loving on people. Like, I feel like that's like encouraging people. Like, I just want to tell all of you how great you freaking are. Like, I just want to say it with my words. So words are my love language. And I feel like one of my greatest gifts. Um, so what are the things so think about your gift zones and then what are the things standing in your way? So what are your obstacles? So a lot of them is like time, fear, uh, maybe money, uh, maybe opportunity. Maybe you don't know the right people yet that are going to put you in the right positions to where if you want to share your story about something um, so that you can help others overcome what you've been through, what does that look like? You know, do you do it at a local church or a local mom's group or, you know, what is that? What does that look like? Um, the, the thing is, is that we just personally don't want to get in our way anymore. You know what I mean? Cause we get in our own ways and in our own heads so much and we overthink things. And I think trying to like really streamline and visualize will help us get out of our own way. <laughs> um, and you know, we can even like find a coach, watch a video on it, go to YouTube. If you're struggling with fear, I just listened to a, um, a sermon from Beth Moore. She's my favorite Bible teacher on fear and it was really cool. She gave two awesome verses that I could, that I wrote down like in the front of my 2017 planner because I'm going to say them out loud and I'm going to need those. So like for me, finding a coach. So I paid for Coach Glitter's Lights Camera Branding. She's my favorite teacher because she like pours into us. It was like $100 to join her. I have access to her all the time in this group. It was $100. You have to pay sometimes to find those mentors and like Shaleen Johnson has courses you can take. Um, so you really have to invest in yourself because that's a huge part of being a business owner and an entrepreneur because we are our biggest um, value. Our time and our person in this business is what matters a lot, right? So, um, you know, thinking about what does it look like to let faith take over your fear, to walk in your purpose, do I have more than enough to do what I want to do? Sometimes a lot of us actually have enough to do what we really want to do. We just haven't taken the steps to do it. Um, and what would I be able to accomplish if I didn't let fear get in the way? These are just some of my notes that I took while I was listening because Coach Glitter actually did a call on vision boards. And so I took a lot of notes. Uh, no matter, I just wrote down, no matter what you know or don't know, it doesn't matter. You have to just freaking start. Like, Action breeds clarity. Action breeds confidence. And if you don't start, you're never, ever going to know. Um, so for me, you know, that looked like just posting on social media, even though I was super nervous about what people are going to think of me. Or, you know, for me, um, no matter what I know about sharing my story well or not, or teaching this business to new coaches or what I don't, I just start and I just like, you know, go through it and I get better as I go. Um, and you guys are going to do the same thing as you're training your coaches and adding people to your team and doing all of that. So um, you can sit down and, and kind of do like a vision 
dumping, you can call it like a brain dump. And some people call it dream mapping. Um, so you can write down like two to three things, two to three segments of your life that you really want to focus on this year. So you could do your health and fitness. So if you want to do like a 5k half marathon, um, if there's a set amount of weight that you want to lose, you can, instead of saying, I want to lose 10 pounds, you can say, I will be 10 pounds lighter by December, 2017, like word it like that. And that's what we talked about in our book club last night. Um, and it's so powerful when you, when you change the way you word it, instead of saying like, I really want to be an elite coach this year, your creative juices and your creative spirit goes into the wanting zone instead of the, I am an elite coach zone. So that's when um, we were talking about that last night on the call. I was like, that is so crazy. Cause all I ever say is I want to do this. Or, I want to do that. Not saying I will be. I will have a six pack by X amount of date because this is the goal that I've set for myself. And so all of your like mental little decisions that you make um, will kind of align you with that goal. And that's the fun part. Like at night, do I want to eat a whole bag of dried mango or do I want my six pack? My subconscious is going to like tell me what to do. You know what I mean? Um, so sit down guys and things like health and fitness relationships. Like maybe you want a date night every week or you want to have lunch dates with your girlfriends or have like coffee date with a girlfriend. Um, how you want relationship with your kids. Maybe you want to read a book this year on how to be a better parent, how to shepherd your child's heart, whatever age they're in. Um, maybe it's for your business, like if it's for income, um, or maybe even how you measure success and that can look different than income, right? Like measuring success in coaching can look like I got out of my classroom today and to me that felt successful. I don't care how much money I made, but you know, so you can do it kind of that way. You can do family goals. You can do spiritual growth. Like if you really want to get up every morning and spend time reading the Bible or reading your personal development. Um, so your, your vision board. So those are some areas that you can do. And what's funny is that, um, it's so funny as you start, because you just start going, even though you don't know sometimes the end result of where you're going to be or how good you're going to be at it. You just are going to go and you're going to kind of fumble your way through it and like you find your skill as you go. You may even have to like this is such a good analogy when she said it. I was like, oh my goodness, that's happened to me so many times. Like, even if you have to stop the car and pull over, or even if you need to get your car fixed, or even if you get out of your car and get into another car because you found a different way of doing something, you just have to start driving the car and start getting down the road. You know what I mean? So it's going to change and things may look different, but who cares? So, um, you know, make a passion passion statement, you guys, like I declare, I will, you know, operate in this way. Like I kind of wrote out my, my little, and you can see like our family. I don't know if you guys can see, but our family is like right in the middle of the vision board. And I'll talk more about that in just a second. But, um, I wrote, I wrote in the beginning of my little journal this year where I'm taking notes on, on all my personal development. Um, so my why is to glorify God with the talents, voice, and skills he has given me. To continually gain the upper edge on my fears, doubts, and self-pity, and negativity. To lead others to Christ by opening my mouth and inviting and reaching out. And to lead others to healthier lives. Um, so I want to stay in the best health possible and to improve always. My dream is to supplement enough money to provide income for all of the house fashion, beauty, vacations that we need, like for all the houses that I want to get, you know, never worry about money or lack of time to give when I can always to, um, the causes that I love and that move my heart, you know? So that is my why this year. And it, and it really is just continually trying to better myself. And I think that's what coaching does for all of us. Wouldn't you say like, just kind of pushes us to be better versions of ourselves every day. So I'm going to um, show you guys my vision board really quick because you can kind of pick your own little areas. Um, let me see if there's anything else I wanted to share. So write a passion statement, write a why statement. You don't have to explain this to anyone. It can just be exactly what you want. You don't even have to tell your husband, shoot. Uh, <laughs> even though I did talk to Matt about it. But 
you have to have confidence to believe that you deserve something like this and that you are worthy and that you are meant to be blessed and live an abundant life. I was just telling someone the other day, and I, you know, sometimes some of us get hangups on income, like, well, I don't know if I'm rich, I might feel weird. Like that might be weird to have a lot of money because then people could judge me or then I could whatever, you know, I don't have a lot of, I guess I don't get hung up on the money side as much. Um, but I know I was telling her, I'm like, well, it's not like God made diamonds so that anyone could just dig them up. Like he wants his children to have beautiful, abundant things. And I know all of us may not, you know, whatever religion you believe in, I really feel like we're meant to live abundant lives and we're meant to have the things that um, speak to our hearts and the things that we enjoy if we always seek the good first and seek that relationship first with um with our God, with our creator, with whatever you believe in, you know what I mean? So that I think is super important to just be able to receive that. Don't put limitations. Um, think about how you can help others. Think about how you can serve people for free. Um, you can also sit back and reflect on how far you've come. There's a book called The Essentialism and I'm partway through it, but it's a really good book that talks about doing the most important things first rather than just being busy with all the other crud the rest of the time. And it really, he's got a really cute, when you listen to it on Audible, he's got like a really cute um, British accent. So it's really fun to listen to. So Essentialism is a great book um, that was recommended to me that I'm reading. So, you know, don't, wa don't watch other people fulfill their dreams and um, add coaches to their business and, you know, help lots of people. You do it. You know what I mean? Like, why can't it be for all of us? There is no lack of people that need our help. I mean, you can go to Costco or travel one day of your life and you'll be like, oh, there's people that need my help because they don't know how to eat. And I can tell they don't know how to eat. And I want better for them because I know they feel like crap in their bodies. You know what I mean? Like that is so my heart. So I want to do an ebook this year of like simple recipes that I can just share with my um, clients that I can just be like, boom, download my ebook done, you know, and just add like a ton of value to their life and different Shakeology recipes and different things. So let me show you my, I know we're going to be short on time here in a second, but I'll just kind of show you guys what I did. You can see. Okay. Are you guys still with me? Okay. I feel like uh, I love team calls, but I just can't stand the sound of my voice for this long. I don't know about you guys, but all right. <laughs> so my word for the year, I did a post about it on social media today is covered. So I wrote a verse there and then I wrote, um, I'm a daughter of the King and I was created for more than I believe I was created for because my beliefs about myself are very low. And my poor husband at like all the time is like, Stace, you really just need to believe in yourself. That's all you're missing. And I'm like, I know, but I don't know how to believe in myself. So I'm really trying to like focus on the fact that, you know, all these things I just talked about. Um, so I'll start with our family in the middle. Um, romantic getaways with my hubby. So we have our success club trip that we, every success club point you earn, you get $5. In January, you get $10 per point, but the rest of the year you get $5 per success club point, which hello, that's like a free vacation. We just had to pay to get there. So we're going to the Dominican Republic. I want to take the kids back to Disney. Um, you know, family getaways, island time, designing our life that we want to live actually taking vacation days and like taking some rest time to renew and refocus instead of just grinding every day. You know, I think that's really important for us coaches, especially with social media, because even though we need to post three times a day on social media, really that's kind of the rule. Um, sometimes I just throw up a meme and call it good for the day. Cause just like some taco meme, you know what I mean? Cause I ain't got nothing to give to the world. So you got to take time away. <laughs> and you know, it's kind of what happens. Um, and then like, gosh, when I, um, when I went to Shaleen Johnson's smart success, which is a fantastic event right by kind of by you, Laura, um, I traveled for the first time by myself in like, I don't know how many years and I boohooed all the way on the airplane to California because I missed my family and I was so nervous to fly by myself and I was scared half to death and I was going to have to room with this girl that I didn't know who turns out she was crazy and she's not a coach anymore, but that was just a little treat for me, apparently. <laughs> gotta, gotta get the crazy in there sometimes. But that um, inspires me that I was able to do something so scary and now I can do it anytime, right? So, and then of course, you know, always being curious about, can you guys see still? Being curious um, about people and asking about them and listening to them and being present in the moment instead of just 
you know, talking about whatever we want to talk about. Um, knowing that we're one of a kind. Um, I just liked her hair and sunglasses. I think Jessica Alba, she's such a clean eating mom and this outfit makes me want to work out because I'm like, dude, that's a waistline that I want. Um, the word lean, Christy Brinkley's like how old? Yeah, I work out so I can look like her someday, even though I never will, but I just put her on there. I want to stay girly. I want to, um, you know, be a woman of influence that even how much I lack self-belief and I doubt myself, I know that I have influence over women and I want to speak with authority and love on them regardless of how, you know, dysfunctional I feel like I am because we all feel that way, but we all have such a voice and we need to use it, you know? And so, um, this is the little thank you card. Claudia, when you watch this, she's East Coast, so it's too late for her. She gets up too early to work out. This was Claudia's thank you card to me, and it was so meaningful, the fact that she was actually in her family's Christmas card this year because of our challenge group. And that made me want to help 100 more people this year because it freaking made my heart pound so hard. Um, so my challengers, knowing that they're my most valuable players, you guys are my most valuable players. I don't care if I've been coaching for three years and I have four people on the call. Guess what? You guys showed up and I am grateful for you. And there are people that are going to watch this. So I'm not going to worry about the numbers. When you do a live video or you post something and you get crickets on it, if you get one like, be grateful for that like. And I'm really trying to adopt that mindset because otherwise you're just going to feel like you're a failure every day. And guess what? We're not. If we are, if one person shows up, if nobody shows up, that's a little rough, but you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, but I love you guys, you know, so you've got to have that mindset. Otherwise you're going to feel defeated and you're going to want to quit and you'll be like, stay some cancel my coaching account. I'm done. I'll be like, but you didn't give it a chance. You got to give it like two years. It's kind of true. Okay. So happy laugh. Sometimes I get too much into the task and I don't laugh and have joy and relax. Um, fight for my health. And then if you guys have seen that movie, Cinderella, where she says, have courage and be kind. Her mama tells her that. Whenever I say that to myself, have courage and be kind, I am so humbled by my own pride. And I know that other people are fighting battles that I don't know what they are. And if they react a certain way to me, it is not a reflection of me. It is only a reflection of what they're dealing with. And in this business, we deal with people. And that is what is so helpful to me. So um, a couple little fun things. I want so badly for you guys to hit diamond drinks so we can have a diamond retreat. So this, this is us somewhere warm on a diamond retreat. <laughs> and these are real possibilities, even though sometimes I don't trust that. I'm like, nobody loves this business as much as I do. Guess what? You guys do. You just need to give us some time and get there, right? Um, share the love. Just do it. I'm a total procrastinator. Nike tells me just to do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Put the laundry away. You know what I mean? Like five, four, three, two, one. Just message that person back so it's not lingering in your head or just make that phone call or just pay that bill. Just freaking do it because guess what? When you do it, you'll be like, ooh, what can I do next? I'm so accomplished today. <laughs> Nike, okay? That's a real thing. All right. March boldly, go big, run when you have to. There have been times, guys, in my business where I had to break apart a training or a concept and I had to stay up until midnight and I was tired as heck because I had two little kids. Run when you need to. We're entrepreneurs. That's what you do, right? Stack them up. Stack up the coaches. The goal is 350. Boom. Actually, 375. I'm going to up that. And then um, love what you do. And then here is... Tony Robbins, if you've listened to any of his stuff, he's like, you just create yourself. You just reinvent yourself every day. And if you listen to Tony Robbins' story, which I'm going to his event in Seattle, and Devin, you're going too, right? Are you going, Devin? Yeah, with your mama. Yeah, so you can um, still go, you guys. It's in, Sarah, if you want to go. Tony Robbins, Gary Vee, and then some other guy. I don't know. I haven't researched him. You make your brand. You let it go. As you learn, you brand yourself, make yourself. Um, restoration hardware, lamp, I want for my office. Chandelier I want, and then this cute little chair. <laughs> so there, there's my thing. Okay, so guys, we have four minutes. I just opened up my heart to you. So I'm gonna unmute you guys, and what questions do you have? 
What thoughts do you have on this? Are you super pumped to do a vision board? Talk to me. You're unmuted. Go. Oh, do you guys want to, the question I asked in the beginning, like the vision of what, how you yeah. want to feel at the end of the year or what you want to accomplish or how many coaches you want on your team or, you know, like as you grow or how many people you want to help with, with, the, with the products that we have. What do you think? Anything? Do you want like one date night a week? Do you want to take a bath once in a while? <laughs> I mean, that's a legit goal. Get a pedicure. Oh, so last year, all I put was I wanted to take the family to Disneyland and get a pedicure every month. I'm not even kidding. And I did it. So that's cool. So there's my foot because I'm getting a pedicure every month this year too. <laughs> Those are real things. Yeah. So you can do a visual, um, you can do a a virtual vision board on PicMonkey or Canva, and you can just um, download the Google images and kind of pull them over. Because sometimes the online vision boards are kind of prettier than the scrapbook ones, so you can kind of pick and choose. I haven't heard of that one. Yeah, PicMonkey is awesome. Tabitha did a training on PicMonkey, but you can go on YouTube and find awesome trainings. Okay. Yeah, but do you guys have anything you want to share? Because saying things out loud is very powerful. Very, and I'm here to listen because you've been listening to me. Well, I'll share. Can you hear me? Yes, we have two okay. thirty seconds. Okay, this is what I want to do. I was doing it. I was doing it, and I was feeling so strong and so good, and 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 then you know I, the the wheels all came off. Everything came off. The bumper came off. It all came off at Christmas, and so I'm kind of limping back to it, but. Um, and I'm so close. I just want to lose like, I don't know, probably like 15 pounds. And, but I want to feel strong. And that's the thing that really freaked me out about hurting my shoulder was that I didn't have a shoulder problem before that. I was watching my knees and, uh, and I'm 44. So things just randomly start to hurt and that freaks me out a lot. So I want to be strong. So I'm really excited about that. I'm, I'm starting to kind of modify Shalene a little bit. I think I'm going to, I'm trying to like the Brazil butt lift, but I just feel like it's not, it's just not, I don't feel empowered. I, I feel. What about, not, 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 you do are you doing? I haven't done, um, no, I, no. Cause I was doing turbo fire and then, and then I was just down and I had back to back sinus infections by the way. So I don't know. Have you gotten any antibiotic for that or? No, I think, yours. I think I'm okay. Are you? Okay. Okay. Cause those are nasty. Um, so that's, that's something, that's something big. And you know, I really didn't feel like I was going to have any support in this and my friends or family at all. I live in an area where everybody's very crunchy and they like to go hiking and, um, and do yoga. And, and, and so I didn't, I don't have anybody in my life who who puts fitness as a priority every single day. And, uh, and I have a couple of people, like a friend of mine just signed up for a beach body on demand, who is my friend who buys all her beach body DVDs from eBay. So I was like, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna <laughs> waste my time with you. But so that's exciting. I mean, I'm getting nibbles. And, uh, and so I'm excited to see kind of what happens when I really put it out there. And Sure. The more you own it, the more they're going to be like, Ooh, what's Laura doing? They're going yeah. to on it, sister. And plus I meet with yeah. people all over the U S and Canada. I don't hardly talk to my friends about Beachbody. They don't need to know. <laughs> <don't care. laughs> I'd rather be with you guys. Anyone else have, they have like less, like maybe 30 seconds. Anyone want to blurt something out? Just